Hope. Sacrifice. Compassion. One Life to Love is an orphanage that my friend started who is from Bricktown, New Jersey. Her name is Courtney Deacon Lilotra and she went over to India with a teacher from FIT and saw the drastic need of uh, helping children who had no buddy and she has this slogan called Love the Unloved. In India the street kids basically have no one. Um, there's no systems to fall back on like here so if a child loses their family, there's nowhere for them to go, but Courtney, she will take any of the kids. Who had nobody, mostly people with disabilities. She ended up with children with disabilities because the other orphanages won't take them because of the medical costs. So she takes these children in and she loves them and she gives them a home, she gives them an education, and we've been supporting her ever since I met her about a decade ago. One Life to Love also has gotten into educating females as well. So they have a day school as well as the orphanage. So it's really just about loving kids who otherwise wouldn't have that accessibility of education and care. We hand out feminine products to women so that they can work and go to school. She responds to the needs of the community, whatever they are. When it's cold out, she hands out blankets. With her children, with the children with the disabilities, they go with her and they help her to hand out blankets. So she makes these children empowered as well. So I got involved with One Life to Love through the Monmouth University Professional Counseling Program that I'm getting my master's in. And Dr. Jodry created this class um, called Transformational Travel. And the idea is to bring counseling students to India, one, to fundraise money for the organization, and two, just to kind of like get out of our own selves. Um, a lot of like counseling is about like letting go of what you know to be true. I asked Global Education if, there, if I could do a faculty-led program that would also include fundraising for the orphanage. That was a model that I knew from another professor in, out in California and uh, they were they put it together with me and we were able to make that happen and we've had many trips since then it really is about learning the different um, religions in india and then it's an experiential class so at the end of the class you get to go and you spend about two weeks in india and we learned all about the orphanage and one life to love but more so you know from a cultural perspective a religious perspective we got a chance to understand india and in, in its totality my role in initially was i was just a student in a class and what i was hoping to get out of it was a broader perspective of the world and to kind of learn a little bit more about myself as well i think anytime you take a trip that's bigger than you or learn about anything that's outside of i guess you would say your comfort zone helps you grow so that was at the basis what i was looking to achieve and then it just became so much more than that so you know in the process of being able to be with these 10 people throughout my semester and then learning from Dr. Jodry um, kind of fell in love with the culture. And then also when you get to go there, you, you just fall in love with the kids. My favorite memory was playing Duck, Duck, Goose with them. And it was really amazing to see, even though we are halfway around the world, kids are kids. And being able to see the joy from these kids really touched me in such a different way. You know, it's changed my life being part of this. I've been able to bring many students to India and the exposure to this changes who we are, it changes who I am, it changes who the students are. I think what I remember most from my experience, again, is just like the idea that human life is the greatest achievement and that we have so much capacity to like make this life like meaningful and beautiful and with that there's like almost like a responsibility to help others. I was really excited to bring my experiences back to Mammoth and more so in the way of encouraging my players to go explore the world and find something that they're passionate about outside of sport. The athletes come and they're kind of movers and shakers and they make things happen just as a group. But there's other students that are as well. But I can count on the athletes to be the leaders among the group. But it's not even just in sports that they're the leaders. They tend to be 
the ones to make sure that everybody's okay in, in the rest of the group. So I, I really enjoy uh, bringing the athletes. I think one of the biggest things I've brought home and to the team is just like such a sense of gratitude for like education but also the experiences that I've been able to have like through sports and I'm so grateful that my team even got behind this with me. So they asked me to be on the board which it's probably like the biggest compliment I've ever received in my life. I have no knowledge of fundraising or anything like that, but it was really amazing to be asked to be a part of it because it really just is a group of people who want to help these kids and to help Courtney. For me, the impact of watching our students at Monmouth University feel empowered to take our education that we have and be able to feel like they can do anything they want to do with it. And every once in a while I get to see students do that. And the fact that they know they can by seeing what Courtney's done, and the fact that they know they can by seeing the impact that they have is what is, what is the best moment for me. I think our team is created such like an amazing environment for where we all love each other so much and we can all really be our full selves. The love is like all universal so I think that for me that was why I wanted to bring this to our team. Take a moment and go to the website one life two the number two love dot org and take a look at the work that Courtney is doing with these um, children. The biggest takeaway is to change the world, love the unloved, and you know, why can't you? Why can't you? You can.